Hello everyone. Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about pitting edema. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. What is edema? Edema is observable swelling caused by excess fluid trapped in the body's tissues. There are two types of edema. Pitting and non-pitting edema. Pitting edema is when a swollen part of the body has a pit after pressing it for a few seconds, whereas non-pitting edema doesn't have a pit. Here you can see an example picture of an edematous limb and a normal limb. The right limb is edematous, whereas the left one is normal. On pressing the edematous limb, a pit is formed. Pitting edema is commonly seen in the lower body, particularly in the legs, ankles and feet. Next comes grading of pitting edema. The grading of edema is determined by two characteristics. One is pit depth and one is recovery time or rebound time. How do we do this? Press firmly with your finger for at least two seconds on the edematous extremity. Observe for the pit depth and the time needed for the skin to return to its original appearance which we call recovery time or the rebound time. And both of these are recorded using a scale in order to grade the edema. The picture is given for a reference where we press the edematous extremity with a finger and check the pit depth and the rebound time. Grading of pitting edema is done from grade 1 to grade 4. In grade 1, on pressing the edematous extremity, the pit depth is up to 2 mm of depression and it rebounds immediately. In grade 2, the depth of the pit is 3 to 4 mm of depression which rebounds in 15 seconds or less. In grade 3, the pit depth will be 5 to 6 mm of depression and it rebounds in 60 seconds. In grade 4, the pit depth will be 8 mm of depression and it rebounds in 2 to 3 minutes. So this is all about grading of pitting edema. Next comes causes of pitting edema. Factors including poor circulation, obesity, pregnancy, dehydration, low levels of protein, trauma or injuries causes pitting edema. And conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, kidney problems, lung diseases, liver diseases, deep vein thrombosis, congestive heart failure can also cause pitting edema. Sometimes medications like steroids and non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs can also cause pitting edema. Next comes management of pitting edema. Treat the underlying cause, elevate the affected limb, diuretic medications are administered as ordered, and Compression socks or stockings are applied. So here you go with pitting edema. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.